That was so that was so dirty, man. But I forget, bro. Street fight. There's no rules. Anything. Let's do this. Subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Y'all settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of God Got Some Got Game and welcome back to the channel. The second channel. Today y'all already know it was CJ, your boy CJ the channel came out with another info. We need some knowledge, some more energy, like black black air force energy to animate too. And it's Tokyo Revenge, bro. If y'all ain't saw Tokyo Revenge, then clearly y'all live on the rock, bro. We all about that gang gang over here, but you already know, man. Leave up in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe, what for the do, man. Y'all know my slogan, y'all know my slogan, y'all know my slogan. I am the greatest. I am the worst. I am God, guys. This is a video. I want see what these gonna be. I need to not it. Hey, you know, a scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. Look at oh, that. yeah, they I remember that. Smiling. And Hobie right here just wants to smoke. Look at dude with the mask. He's in show, dude. The pandemic, I'm beating your ass. And both these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just <laughs> his goals. Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f I promise you. Love this intro, bro. Uh, this intro nasty. It got me in the zone. Let's get it. I'm on my nerd core. Okay. Right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time Let's get it. Turn to the round table of black Fool me. Activity. And today's going to be a very, very special video. Please. It is finally time for us to return to Tokyo Revengers. Or should yes. I call it <clears throat> Black Air Force Energy? The yes. Anime. Yes. Yes. Big body. Gang violence. Home invasion. Nigga, you name it. So Everything on set. Everyone getting it. Let's get it. Last time we did Exhibit A, and that was episodes 1 through 15. A, hey, and I said when the season ends, I'll do Exhibit B, and then I'll add a representative to the round table of Black Air Force activity. And okay. Well, uh, it's about that time. So let me go ahead and give that one. If you have not seen Tokyo Avengers episode 16 oh, yeah. through 24, you may not want to watch this video. I promise you. you will be spoiled. Or Boy, if I never will. Strap the yeah. fuck in, nigga, because we're about to get into this shit. So Let's without further it. ado. <clears throat> Exhibit. Exhibit B. Let's get it. So last time we left off, this man Baji was beating the shit out of his vice captain. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, why are you doing this? Why are you turning your back on your own hood, bro? Because he can, well, bro. Apparently, Kazutora has a grudge against Toman. So we get a flashback all the way to 03. So everybody's just chilling and riding their bike right. And yo, this Motorbike. He's just like, you know, chilling on his moped. It's cooling, bro. <laughs> I love how the most savage person in this show is literally just cruising on a moped right now. And look at dude, he like, why you shitting on my moped, dog? This my mm. street hawk, nigga. So I then swear. this other gang pulls up. They like, hey, that thing hard though, man. Whole ass grown men out oh, here harassing middle schoolers. So this dude's oh like, hey, right, bro, I'm about to smash your little bitch made ass moped, nigga. But then Mikey gives him this. Bro, he don't want that smoke. He don't want that smoke. It's death there, and he's like. Lay one finger on this shit and see what happens to your ass. And he just stared down a whole ass grown man. So he backs off, but look at his head, bro. Look at his demeanor. Got that JoJo he got shit right he now. Got that JoJo, he got that JoJo hairstyle, bro. Let's get it. And in his mind, he's like, ah, oh, hell no. This little nigga about to run my shit. I best could daddle. So they dip, but they like, if we see you again, we gonna jump your ass. And then look at Baji, bro. He like, what you wanna do, y'all? Y'all wanna murder these niggas? Oh my Wait, god, uh, dog, savage. God, god we're talking damn. about murdering grown ass men. So then Mikey runs out of gas. So damn. then he's like, listen, bro, I'm trying to go to the beach. So uh, one of y'all niggas about to get to pushing and take my shit to the gas station. So Baji ends up having to push Mikey's moped all the way to the gas station. But he ends up running into that same gang that uh -oh. they saw earlier. So yeah, uh, he ended up getting jumped. So after that, they like, yeah. right, we about to fuck up your moped now. But then as he's about to break it, Bobby comes in and takes the hit. And he's like, y'all niggas ain't about to fuck up my nigga Mikey's moped. I swear, now. man, he's a real one, bro. He's a real one, bro. So right before this man Baji's about to get jumped again, this man Mikey pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, I forgot my swim trunks. So then this dude kicks his own moped down. Then he turns around and he's like, yeah, y'all niggas got some nerf with my shit, huh? And then man's Swap. like, hey, hold on, bro, you fucked up your own moped. But then Mikey- Hey, they trying to hit on one. Oh, this is like a one against like eight, five, man. Let's get it. Just oh, shit. Sit this yeah, I know Mikey be kicking, bro. Flying. Like, dog, imagine getting knocked out by a child. Some boots. You a that grown guy. ass man and you got knocked out by a 
king. Nigga, you an embarrassment to your hood. Like, bro, don't ever show your Don't even come here on yeah, set no more. running grown men's fades at like the age of 12. So later on, Kazutor and Baji just riding down the street and they're like, hey, yo, we gotta get Mikey a birthday present. So Kazutor suggests we should get Mikey that bike that he always wanted. So Baji's Bats. like, all right, bro, how we gonna get the bike? And you know he got it. Says, they got it, bro. We're stealing it. These niggas about to rob Back. the bike shop. Look okay. at him, bro. It's like he's done this shit before. Little niggas mm. only in middle school and is already an expert in breaking and entering. Fall Look out. at them. No, let's got room. Pliers and shit. So then they, they know how get to do it, bro. They're like, all right, bro, let's roll this shit out. So while Kazutor goes to check the front, Baji just realizes there's a person still left in the shop. So he oh, notices God. that he's like, hey, we getting robbed? And he got a wrench and everything. He ready to clock that shit. So while Baji's panicking, he looks at him and he realizes that he knows this person. So while they're talking, this man Kazutor comes out of nowhere and collapses his shit with the pliers Damn. he cracked him in the temple with the smile on his face and that man is just flat out dead and then bodies are like ah oh, shit we f***ed up because the man that kazutor just killed is mikey's brother oh. while trying to steal a it. bike for his birthday they end up breaking into his brother's bike shop killing his brother bro they killed his brother, bro. Trying to steal his bike that he was going to give Mikey for his birthday. And he killed him. God damn, bro. And man is losing it right now. He's like, it's all Mikey's fault. I need to kill Mikey. What the f what? What? How does that make what? any sense? I promise you, man. Clocked his, his brother, brother for real. Bro, you, you hit his brother. Now you, you hit his brother. Now you're going to have to Mikey. But... I guess cause he was so loyal to Mikey, bro. He just like, man, I gotta get rid of Mikey now, bro. On facts. Basically, just killed the nigga, and you're saying it's Mikey's fault. <laughs> Yo, this nigga's a blaming on Mikey, so man, then they bro. They get arrested, and, and then they see Mikey. Oh my god, bro, this is just tragic. And look at him kill. Kill all oh, hell no, Yo, this nigga's bad Yo, shit crazy. Demon so Mikey didn't get locked up. He definitely gotta be in the Black Force energy table because Kazutor defended him so Baji joins Valhalla and they tell Takamichi all right go ahead tell that nigga Mikey this that on October 31st we running y'all shit so the day before the fight Takamichi ends up running into Shifuyu the person that Baji was beating the hell out of earlier and he tells Takamichi that there's a reason why Baji went to Valhalla and it's because of Kisaki so apparently this Steve Urkel ass nigga has been plotting the whole time because we already know in the future the reason why everything goes bad is because of this dude so they do some yeah. investigating and they figure out that this man is running the whole show like y'all remember Osanai, the nigga that got knocked the fuck out by the Mikey 2000 roundhouse? Yeah. Apparently Kisaki was the one who put him in power. And bro, just look at him, bro. This nigga look dusty as fuck. How did he go from looking like this? He's a, he's a pro, he's a protege, bro. He he into character developer. He's a prototype, protege. To this, so they end up putting the puzzle pieces together, and they figured out that Kisaki is the one that is basically leading Valhalla as well, and he's pulling the strings from both sides. Oh, he working on the cover. Type B. God damn, homie is dead as leading a whole war and is basically leading both sides, so he can have power at the end of it all. Hey, hey, I mean that's kind of smart, but uh, the way my nigga Palpatine go. Hey, but you could try. Bro, he was pretty much on the cover. He, he undercover, bro. You could try. So right before the fight, Takamichi goes back to the future to ask Draken some more questions. And he figures out that Mikey is supposed to be the leader of Valhalla. And the whole cut organization it, huh? was made for him to lead. Yeah, he and did he cut it hell back then. He has to stop Mikey from killing Kazutor because uh, Mikey's going to put that nigga six feet under. And if Mikey catches a body, then everything's going to go to shit. So now it's the day of the fight, and all these other niggas from gangs came to watch this shit. Like yeah. it's a whole spectacle or something. Hey, hey, but I can't cap. Some of these hey. niggas dripping, though. Hey, I promise you, man. Look at the drill. What? Ooh, they went in on the drawing, bro. That was, that, was, that was what I liked about it. Look at the fence. Ooh. And this big-ass nigga right here made sure to bring snacks. Like, God damn, how many Big Macs did you get, nigga? And he got a whole nother bag. So then this dude walks up, and he's like, all right, both of y'all niggas ain't shit. Just letting y'all know that right now. And I guess he's supposed to be the referee. So what is this, like the NCAA for delinquents? Is this supposed to be like a regulated fight? So then he's like, all right, y'all bring out your team captains. <laughs> Yo, they really out here like it's a whole ass that game. Flag. They got flags and everything. I'm surprised they didn't represent. The represent. Song. This is a goddamn delinquent Represent the flag. Hey. So he's like, all Bro, what the fuck y'all want to do? Five on five? Do a five on five or a whole ass all out brawl? Like, nigga, yo, five on five? So we having like a whole ass tag team match? But then Kazutor's like, man, 
this shit. Then just cooked the ref in the face. And then just punched him in the gut for good measure. So then bruh's like, what is all this bullshit? Overseeing a fight, conditions. What y'all niggas wanna do? Playhouse or some shit? Nah, nigga, fuck all that bullshit. We came to box out sorry ass. He wants to so smoke. They say, you know, smoke. Scooter rolls, bro. So they all just started blasting. And look at them, they all smiling. And homie right here just wants to smoke. Look at you, man. Mask, bro. This nigga said, fuck a pandemic. I'm beating your ass. And both well. these dudes tried to team up on him, but he, he just nonchalantly just <laughs> cracked his skulls. Yo, this man is a definition of not giving a f. Ooh, look at the little rat pay on his ass. So I'm not forgetting what your little red ass did, nigga. But hey, hey, I'll let it slide because you beating this nigga's ass. Oh, it's just with the nice mm. drop kick. So while everybody's boxing, Takamichi's just standing there like a dumbass. Yeah, hey, oh, man. There he go again. Got to protect the future. Like, uh, what the f am I supposed to do? Then he ends up getting his Leave shit rocked. Oh. And then Mitsu comes and says, something. he's like, hey, bro, get your head in the game or you're going to be six feet under when this shit is over. So Kazutor is coming in to swing on Mikey, but Draken stops him and he's like, uh, 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 hey, bro. we're doing this JRPG style. You got to beat the sub boss before you fight the main boss. But then Hanma's lanky ass comes oh, over yeah. and boots uh. Draken's ass like 10 feet. Like, damn, boy, you got a strong ass foot. Bro, so I, I feel like he should have been on day team, bro. Like, for real. Team having ass boy. So then Mikey and Kazutor finally face off, and Kazutor is like, "Yeah, I've been waiting for this day, boy. I've been dreaming of this ever since I clocked your little." Yeah, cause he he yeah brother yeah. Inside the head. And then look at Mikey, bro. He like, "All right, bro, bring it on with your little banana peel head ass." So while they're facing off, Takamichi's still over here shitting bricks. So uh, then she feeling comes up and he's like, "Hey, bro, I know you're scared, but you're gonna have to go some balls." So Takamichi is a playing the nigga out. There we go. Boy, rock that nigga shit. With the tear. My nigga just started getting jumped. With the tear. Hey, but at least he fighting now. Yeah, yeah, I give him a prop, man. He 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 got out of the hit thing. But it wasn't worth it. So Drake is out here boxing and making up. Mm. Ooh, he gave him that signature DBZ gut punch. But then mm -hmm. Hanma sticks his goons on Draken. So it's not looking good for Tommy right yeah, now. Man. Yeah, man. They're Show outnumbered right. and they're getting their asses beat. And now Draken's about to get jumped. But then Takamichi comes in. What the fuck is my nigga doing? Bro, he on, bro. <laughs> bro, I respect him, bro. But, dog, oh, this ain't it, bro. I got what the but Fuck apparently, yeah. bro just gave everybody in Toman a whole morale boost. So Draken starts stretching. He's like, I've been waiting for this day. I've been watching Naruto 24-7. I've been waiting for the day when I can recreate Madara versus the Shinobi Alliance. Oh, so yeah. this man just starts running wild on a whole Madara yeah. type. Just cracking everybody's skull one after another. Catching bodies on bodies mm. on bodies. Body. And they body like, oh, hell no, nah, nigga. I didn't sign up for this. And bro, he literally laid he loving everybody it. out cold. He loving it. He's like, yeah. You next if it's not warm up boy. too, bro. Look at bro, he enjoying this shit. He like, yeah, baby. Bro, I promise you, man, he really need to be on their side, bro. Let's dance, nigga. Damn, boy, he sent that nigga flying at least fifty yards. And look at Takamichi, he's like, damn, bro, I didn't know this nigga was that OP. Yo, all this man's stats are just maxed out. So then Mikey's out here chasing out Kazuto, and he's like, quit running, you banana peeled ass bitch. But he leads him into a hole trap, and Mikey ends up getting jumped by both their captains. But it don't matter because it's still light work. Y'all niggas ain't shit. But they end up getting a hold of Mikey. And this man, Kazuto, comes from the top rope. And he oh. that shit with that steel pipe. That was so, that was so dirty, man. But I forget, bro. Street fight. There's no rules. Anything goes. I hate it. My boy Mikey is down for the count. Or so we thought because my nigga still got up. And then this man, Kazuto, just starts monologuing. He says, I went to juvie because of you. I suffered because of you. If a person kills someone, they're a bad guy. But if you kill your enemy, you're a hero. And everybody's mm. like, what the f is this nigga on? This nigga must have snorted like two lines before the battle started. Then this man, Han was like, bat shit crazy, am I right? Nah, nigga, you ain't lying. So then they hold him down and he's like, don't let him go. I'm about to beat the shit out this nigga. So he just starts hitting him with a steel pipe over and over and over again yeah, everybody's like damn, brother bro. in yeah, you going a little too far my nigga and look at old dude bro he like damn that nigga really that shit. Mm -hmm. look at him bro he's like i'm gonna become a hero by killing my enemy smacks him again bro. it crazy because they were friends bro. Oh, bro what the f is you on so while mikey's being held down he's like Kill your enemy. Is that why you killed my brother? Bro, this man mm. headbutts, dude. Then picks this man up with his I'm leg. Like, oh, damn. Oh. Ooh, that go that kid. Oh my God. No, no, no. I'm done. I'm done. I'm waving it off. I've seen enough. Come on, insert. Take your seat. Get real comfortable. 
bro, we ain't even done yet, and I could end the video right here off of just that. Back hit, bro. He literally picked up his leg with another nigga on it, then flung it and knocked both of them out cold. I swear, man, like, bro. He just made them boy like some wussies. Double KO, actually triple KO, because the other nigga knocked the f out down there too. But then after that, Mikey's out of gas. So bro can't even move right now. So then all of our holler's like, all right, bro, let's go jump this nigga. So Takamichi's trying to rush up to stop him, but he's gonna be too late. So right when Mikey's about to get clapped, Steve Urkel comes out of the woodworks and clocks homie. Deadass made the nigga spin like a damn Beyblade. So Kisaki's up here trying to defend Mikey, and we all know this is bad. Homie's finally putting his plan into work. Talking to like, way. no, this can't be happening. And everybody's like, good job, Kisaki. And even Draken, bro. Oh my God. So Takamichi's like, no, guys, this shit can't be happening. I not believe this nigga has good intentions. But while he's standing up there, somebody's coming, and it's Baji, and he sneaks oh. him upside his head. And bro, oh. he's just knocked out. And look at Baji, bro. He like, yeah, nigga. Let's I'm get like, it. Fuck your face up so goddamn bad. Your mom won't even be able to recognize your little ugly ass. But then he gets thrown by Kisaki's vice commander. Well. Kisaki's like, all right, bro. Swat that nigga dead. So Chifuyu tries to stop Baji, but uh, Baji just cracks yeah. that nigga in the skull. So then Takamichi comes in. And he's like, stop this, bro. This ain't you. We know why you're doing this shit. But while Takamichi's trying to stop Baji, this man Kazutora comes out of nowhere and shanks his ass. That was it. And he pushed it in. Oh my God! You rotten banana peeled ass bitch. And then he's like, die, Baji. What did he do? This a nigga that was trying to help you. And he just stabbed oh, yeah. him in his back. Bro, Ka Kazutori is, is. I guess he want to do it on his own. He want to be the big boss. Is a lost cause at this point. So Correct. Then Takamichi just trucks him. But then this man Baji is still standing up like nothing happened. And look at him, bro. He's just staring down a entire army on a hill. So he puts his hair back and he's like, "Bring it on, nigga!" So he just runs at him, and just starts beating the shit out of everybody. It is a fifty to one, and this nigga is cracking everybody. But. He winning. He only winning because he got that little pipe, bro, man. He can't fight it, like, by himself, bro. He got to use a, a weapon tool object, bro. But, you know, there's no rules when it comes to this. Shit. This man is dead ass laying out a entire division with just a steel pipe. And look exactly. at him, bro. He is having fun while doing this. So Kisaki's like, ah, shit, bro. We got to stop this nigga. But he ends up sneaking his guard and just holds up Kisaki in under, like, a minute. So while Baji's about to finish the job, my nigga bled out. And our boy Baji is down for the count, bruh. And look at this nigga Kisaki. He knows he planned this shit, you conniving ass bitch. So Mikey wakes up and he sees that Baji has bled out. And bro is like mega pissed. So Mikey walks up to Draken and Hanma and he's like, the fight is already over. Muhammad's like, hey bro, the fight ain't over yet. You ain't get to decide that shit. So Mikey looks at him, he's like, <laughs> sit your little lanky ass down. Then he says, the there. It's over, dog, 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 bro, bro. Mikey is literally bred different. Dog literally walked up to him and said, the fight is over because he knew he was about to knock his ass out. And look at him, bro. He knocked him out so hard, his ass cheeks are spazzing out. <laughs> so everybody in Valhalla just splits like, bro, it is over. And I love how all this even happened is because this nigga's just instigating shit. Bro was like, yeah, Kazutora's definitely got some screws loose. I see, he brought Baji into Valhalla so he could finish him off himself. So you should beat that nigga's ass. Yo, somebody signed this man up for the Hood Olympics. So then Mikey walks up to Kazutora, and Kazutora's like, all right, let's end this. Either you die or I die. got Vain coming Mikey out of the head. looking at him like, is this nigga serious? So yeah, bro, he just started welling on that nigga. Then he kicked that nigga like 10 yards. And then bro just took top mountain. Nigga, nigga, it's over. God damn. Bro, bro, he's beating the piss out of his ass. Even Ooh. the nigga that be falling all the time is like, bro. You gonna kill that nigga. While Kazutora's getting the absolute shit beat out of his ass, he remembers why he stabbed Baji. He got a phone call from Hanma saying that Baji was a traitor. And you know damn well, uh, the nigga that probably set up that phone call Ooh, yeah, uh, was Steve We Obis already ass. know. Yo, this nigga stay plotting. So then somehow this man Baji is still up and moving on his feet. So then he goes over to Kazutora and he's like, hey, bruh, don't blame your death on me. So he just said, f*** it and just killed himself. God. Bro, man actually offed himself so he Dang. didn't have to blame old dude for his death. Jesus Christ. So then Kazutora's dumbass walks up to him and he's like, you're next. You two can go to hell together. This man Mikey looking at his crazy ass like, 
Shut the fuck up. While Baji's dying, he literally just spills everything. Like, yeah, bro, that nigga Kisaki's behind everything. The man is behind the fight with Mobius. Right after Pa went to jail, he went up to Mikey to become the third division captain in exchange for getting snitching and all that on the cover. Nigga, this up next level ass plotting. So Baji yeah. says his last words, and he's like, all right, y'all, I'm out this hoe. So uh, that nigga wants to kick the bucket. Yeah. Damn dog, he didn't even betray his hood. He was a real nigga the whole time. So Mikey just loses it and just starts beating the shit out of Kosovo. So Takamichi's like, No, oh, don't beat shit. him, bro. I gotta stop this nigga. Yeah. If I don't, the future's gonna go to crap. Yeah, so I he promise obviously you. can't fight Mikey. So he's like, I right, I'm gonna have to resort to one of the most overpowered techniques in anime history. Used Bruh. by the seventh oh. Hokage himself. Talk no jutsu. So this man tries to talk no jutsu, Mikey, but yeah. damn. Damn. Shit like that. He's like, move, boy, I'ma kill your ass. But then this charm falls out of his pocket, and then Mikey gets hit by that flashback, no jutsu. So then he's like, ah, f it, it ain't worth it. So then the cops are coming, so everybody got to get to stepping. So then Kazutora is like, all right, to atone for my sins, I'ma stay here and get locked the fuck up again. So damn, bro, this nigga literally just got out of juvie just to get locked up again. Well, uh, at least uh, he's trying to learn how to better yeah. himself this time. Respect, so, uh, respect. Good luck and uh, don't drop the. Respect, bro. Respect. So, so later on, after that whole fight went down, they end up having a whole nother meeting, and Valhalla ends up merging with Toman because, uh, you guessed it, yeah. this nigga. But somehow, some way, Takamichi ends up getting promoted to first division captain. And hey, bro, even though this dude can't even throw like no hands, I gotta admit. This man got some crazy ass durability. Like, dude can take an ass whooping. So, Takamichi's like, all right, let me go check out how the future is now. See if it changed a little bit. So, this man goes back to the future and he spawns back into the dusty ass blockbuster. But the thing is, he ain't working there no more. That man is dripped the f out and is a whole ass Yakuza boss. Bro, they picking up mans in a whole ass Rolls Royce and all his niggas with him too. Hey, yo, all them niggas eating. So, Chifuyu and Takamichi gotta go to this meeting. And this is where we could tell, uh, some ain't right because half of these dudes ain't even the original members of Toman. Some of them are from an ex gang called the Black Dragons, and Hama's lanky ass is there too. And they talking because somebody is a rat. So Takamichi's like, all right, bro, what the fuck is going on? So then Kisaki pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, let me take y'all back to my crib and I'm gonna give y'all a drink real quick. So they go to this dude's penthouse and then he starts talking to him. So then he says, what do you think about me? Around this time, 12 years ago, Baji died. And he drops it. I'm the one that planned Bloody Halloween. I formed Valhalla and made them clash with Toman. So then he's out here apologizing for everything that he did. So then he's like, have a drink, y'all. So while they I said that he work on the cover, bro. How he doesn't take one sip. So then this man goes over to the window and starts looking out of it. And then he says, when I said I didn't think Baji would die earlier, yeah. That's a lie. I used that nigga Kazutora to kill Baji. And I'm about to finish what I started. So yeah, uh, he done lace the drinks. So then yep. Takamichi wakes up and they are tied up and strapped down onto a chair. So then Kisaki's oh, like, you got a nice really? nap, nigga? So then he's like, yeah, I know you a rat for you. You've been trying to get my ass ever since I killed Baji. So then he pulls out the Glock. He's like, Ooh. Takamichi, why you ain't said shit? Then he pops his ass in the lap. Damn, bro. So then he puts a Glock up in Chifuyu's head and he's like, any last works before I put your ass six feet under. So then Shifuyu reveals that in this timeline, Mikey disappeared and Draken was executed and Toman just went to crap. So then he says, everything's in your hands now, partner. And Damn! Ooh. Nigga popped a cap in his ass. Blew my nigga Shifuyu's brains out, dog. And then he puts the Glock up to Takamichi. Bro, this man is a madman. Look at him. He like, say something, nigga. So then he sheds a tear and he's like, see ya. My hero been wow, bro. Mm. That is how you do a cliffhanger. I saw so, uh, yeah. I'm ready for season two, bro. I don't know how the hell I'm gonna do this. Cause damn near everybody in this show got black air force energy, dog. I already added Mikey before the video even ended. And if I add more than two, then that's not gonna be enough space for all the other people that I need to add later. Alright, so I've come down to it. I'm gonna have two representatives from this show. Mikey, Mikey and, and I'm gonna have to give it to Draken. Cause that nigga uh, and I guess uh, uh, yeah, Draken, all right, man. Else, especially Kazutora and Baji. Cause that banana peeled ass nigga ain't even an adult yet and he been locked up twice. He yeah. a real one, bro. That was Tokyo Revengers. Hell, if they come out with season two, I might make Black Air Force Energy the anime three. Hey, but I'll be honest, I might end up reading the manga low key. But anyways, uh, I promise you, bro. And, uh, I'm out this hoe. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, yeah, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. There you go, Tokyo Revenge, bro. I like it, bro. I'm ready for season two. Like I said, yeah, I probably gonna have to uh, read the manga too, man.
But you already know. Leave a comment, ask a question, like, comment. <laughs>